Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about creating this Harley Quinn character from start to finish in Blender. Before we start, I wanna let you know that this video is not a tutorial about character creation. In this video, I'm gonna explain my workflow about creating this character. Also, maybe can I answering some of your common question guys through this video. If you are new in Blender, you have to check out this character modeling tutorial series for beginners after watching this video. Link in the description below. You know what? I talk too much, let's go into it. So the first common question, which software, hardware and graphic tablet do I use? It's good to know guys that I don't have sponsors for this video, just I wanna share this information with you. The CPU in my machine is IMD Ryzen 7 2700X. As a GPU, I use RTX 2080 Ti. This is a powerful graphic card for rendering. The RAM is 32 GB. My graphic tablet is Wacom Intuos Pro M. The Wacom Intuos Pro is without screen, which I prefer. I use Blender as a software. Also, I like to use Quixel Mixer to create complex materials for my character. If you haven't heard about that, you can find a tutorial in the description below. So let's start with the character concept. I searched for many reference images for Harley Quinn, then I upload them into a free 3D software called PureRef. It's very important to pick many reference images from many different angles. The next step is sculpting. Like many artists, I like to start with the head because in my opinion, the head is the very complex part in the whole process. So we need to care off about two important things. First of all, the head proportions. A face is divided into three equal parts. Hairlines into the eyebrows, eyebrows into the button of the nose, button of the nose into the button of the chin. The eyes are halfway between the top of the head and the chin. The button of the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. Number two, I need to be careful with the polygons count. In this case, I need to start with a low level of polygons, and this is very important, guys. To control the polygons count, I need to remesh the object. Shift R to change the voxel size, Control R to remesh. I try to focus on my workflow in general, and the details for the face, it's not that important for now. Keep that in mind before we create the eyebrows, the eyelashes, and the hair. Your character will not look right. As you see guys, I don't need to stick with the sculpt mode all the time. I can even switch into the modeling section and create the ears as you see. For me, I can modeling the ear faster than sculpting. After that, I need to add a mirror modifier, apply the modifier, switch into the sculpt mode again and add the final details. To combine the ear with the head, I use the pole tool add-on. For the eyes, I'm gonna add a sphere, place the sphere just like that, switch into the sculpt mode, start to grab the mesh around the eyes with a grab brush. Of course, remeshing is a very important process in the moment. I need to add more polygons count to have more control and details. I use an easier way to create the eyebrows using snapping in Blender. After snapping the base eyebrow shape, I need to add a mirror modifier, a subsurf modifier, a shrink wrap modifier, and a solidify modifier. So I need to move on and plucking out the body. Pluck out is a 3D rough draft level, pulled with simple 3D shapes without any details. Now I need to grab the grab brush, crazy right? And start forming the body. As you see guys, after plucking out the character, it's time to combine the mesh together. Shift R, Ctrl R to remesh, and finally I can turn on the music and enjoy the process. At some point, I can't remesh the body to have more details. 
That's why I need to use a modifier called multi-resolution modifier. This modifier allows me to add cool clean chart details. Before I go ahead and add a multi-resolution modifier, I need clean topology to work with. That's why I need to re-topology the mesh. The re-topology process, it's a long process. For saving time, I use a quad remesher add-on, which and paid add-on. This add-on can save you 4-5 hours in one click. It's time to add the multi-resolution modifier subdivided a few times and start to add details in the sculpt mode. I need to add more details for the hand and as you know more details more vertices and that's gonna slow down my computer at some point blender crashed if you go with high levels in the multi-resolution modifier that's why I need to separate the hands from the body in the edit mode now can I subdivide the multi-resolution modifier and add the details that I need Using the mask brush allow me to add sharp cool details like the needles. And also I use the mask brush a lot to create the clothes. After masking a specific area just like so, go to mask extract, uncheck extract as solid and click on OK. Now I need to use the quad remesher again to re-topology the mesh, add a multi-resolution modifier and start to add details. After that, we need to create the UVs for the character. Just keep that in mind, this process is very important for painting on the surface or for add a texture. After the UV unwrapping process, it's time to add the texture. I do enjoy with painting in Blender because it's easy to work with. After painting the skin, I need to add the tattoos. From the texture properties, I can add a new texture brush. Here is very important to change the texture mapping into stencil. After all of that, I need to pick the normal map and the ambient inclusion map. After picking the maps, I can delete the multi-resolution modifier. Now it's time to add the armature and the final touches. Finally, I want to say thank you guys for supporting me on the channel and on Patreon. See you in the next one.